Hello everybody and welcome to this week's update video. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm trying to get this uh, video done quickly because today has been just a rash of me meetings. We had the developer meeting, we had the vectors me me meeting. Basically it's it's a Saturday but it's all go in the Inkscape pro project. Um, so forgive if this seems a little terse. Um, okay, st to start off with, first of all, a big Thank you to all of my sponsors. Uh, basically, my work here on Inkscape is funded by uh, you, the users yourselves, who help me to basically make time that I can spend on Inkscape. And uh, every week, I do want to thank thank you for your continu continued support. Uh, if you'd like to jo join them, please check the links in the description. Okay, uh, let's get into the actual work this week. A lot of it is to do with bug fi fixing. Um, I just got back from Pen Penpot Fest in Barcelona. Uh, it wasn't ideally timed because we're just on the cusp of this release, uh, but you know, with delays of releases, you can never tell when, when the skin schedule is going to hit. So we're back into actually fixing issues. Um, some big issues, ba basically I've been looking at blockers that might stop the release from happening. Um, some issues that were marked as blocker was essentially opening the document up and uh, seeing the wrong zoom. Um, that was a whole issue that needed to be refactored. Me and Philip actually worked on that together. Uh, now I can say for absolute certainty that of all of the different preferences that you could conceivably have when it comes to zoom window position, um, Inkscape should now in 1.3 do the right thing and position the document correctly, hopefully. Um, or it better damn well because we spent a lot of work on that. Okay, um, there was another blocker. Now this one I don't consider a blocker, but it was marked as a blocker, so I have to treat it as one. And that's the the spin button icons, the minus and plus signs that are on all of the number bu number di dialogues. You know the things that you enter num numbers into. Um, those were too large and ugly. So uh, with a bit of back and forth about w which was the best way to approach to fix it, uh, we are now going to ship our own uh, plus and minus icons instead of relying upon the defaults that are in GNOME. This should allow us better control and it should look better. Uh, I, what I did was I basically decreased the size of them by a pixel on all sides, uh, giving them a bit of space and making them a slightly bit small, smaller. Um, it should also make them more consistent between operating systems. Fingers crossed. Uh, there was a bug with tooltips in the live path effects uh, dialogues, basically chewing up uh, all of your tool tooltips if you clicked on um, apply live path effect at the wrong time. That's been fixed. Uh, paste in place was broken. This was actually reported by one of my patrons. Um, thank you for, for continuing to test and uh, reporting things. This was where uh, my covered added a feature where if you pasted, um, it now always pasted to the pixel, which allowed the mouse position to be more accurately um, pasted in. The problem was is that that code applied to paste in place and paste on page, both of which have nothing to do with the mouse. And so I needed to fix it so that paste in place and paste on page didn't use that new fun functionality that Mykov had, had developed. Um, so that's been fixed. Um, there's a whole bunch of translation issues to do with strings that are in the um, the, the dialogue itself. Um, those have all been fixed, um, progressively trying to work out how to do it. Lots of backports that have happened to make sure think things are in sync. Um, there was a bug with extensions where sometimes when you when you exported or saved, Inkscape would add the extension again. So you would save, say for instance, you know, foo.png and you would end up with foo.png.png. Uh, that's been fixed. Um, there was a bug with snapping. This is where snapping was just way too aggressive. Um, this has been, that was there for years and years and years and years. Uh, I managed to fix that by turning it back down to 10 and figuring out like what the history behind that pre preference was and why it was set to 10,000. So if you're using grids in 1.2 and having the grids switched on causes them to the grids to basically always win against any other snapping option, now you know it's 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 a coding issue that's been there since uh, 2008 uh, when somebody accidentally committed the wrong number to, to the code and nobody noticed. Um, so we had a developer meeting today and, and, and pr primarily it was about the um, release schedule. We want to make sure that are we on track for making the release? I'm pushing 
to not have any more delays simply because we're already on a delayed schedule and delaying releases is not a free action right it costs us extra resources to like keep things going and so we had a, an entire discussion about what issues are considered blockers which issues are considered critical things that are prioritized in the right way we managed to remove the blocking tag from a number of bugs that are not really blocking bugs and um, are, they're still important and they still should be fixed um, so we had a, a sort of renegotiation about that we're, we're still on track for releasing in two weeks time we're going to re-meet next week next sun sunday to check to, to see if we've re removed the actual blocking bugs that we identified this week hopefully if you guys have reported your I issues if you, if your issue that you've reported is not tagged for 1.3 and you think that it absolutely is blocking get in touch um we're like at the final st stages now we're like things cannot be delayed if you if you don't push now um, some good news are the Inkscape um, Project Leadership Committee approved an extension to my con co contract. I should be soon, hopefully, contracted to fix bugs for the 1.3.1 uh, point release so that issues that crop up after the release will have somebody to fix them. Um, thank you very, very much to the Inkscape pro project for uh, that extension. I think it should be very useful to the pro project. It'll give me basically more time to basically spend on 1.3 even after the release because um, we do we, we always get bugs that crop up and people uh find things as they as they're doing their work um so the point releases are always good and now i should be available to work on them um some of my hours can be paid for but by by inkscape love to see it um the 1.4 release so we should actually get into the stuff that other people are doing because i have been um 100 on the release i am not doing really other stuff right now so let's talk about other developers in the escape pro project and what they've been up to um one developer let's see if i can pronounce their name um is it to Lu? no i'm you know what? i'm not going to pronounce that <clears throat> just in case I could get it wrong. Uh, new developer, they've been doing some great bug fixes. Um, big shout out to them. I love to see new developers getting involved, especially when they're fixing bugs. Um, PBS has been fi fixing various issues. He's also been doing some GTK4 stuff, but he said he's going to start doing much more bug fi fixes to make sure that release happens. Love to see it. Tav has been doing his GTK4 stuff. New uh, hired developer, Deboils. Uh, has been working on GTK4 stuff. Very, very busy, very, very active. Um, the master branch isn't completely bro broken yet, but I expect any day now it's going to become uh, unstable. Um, there's been a whole bunch of other stuff going on with extensions. Uh, um, Jonathan has been um, taking some of the, of the ideas that were in the scientific extensions library and putting them into... Uh, Inkex itself, mostly to do with speed improve, improve, improvements that are to do with like how things are parsed. So um, those have been going in. They won't make it for 1.3, uh, but maybe they'll get into 1.3.1. .1. I would love to see, and see them. I think it's very reasonable for speed improve improvements to go into a point release. Um, the the uh, Javier has been working on the Inkscape website. The plan is in the one week time, um, we will release the refreshed uh, version of the, the, the website. The functionality hasn't changed. He's just refreshed the CSS. Uh, he's been working on that for about a month now, and uh, we want to make it into, want to have it happen before the 1.3 release. I unfortunately am I'm also the website administrator, so that means I also have to be involved in that and um, uh, basically s scheduling to make sure that like when we upgrade the website, it doesn't affect the release schedule. We should have a week after that then to clear up any remaining issues in the website and do the release and everybody gets to see a new website. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, sorry if, I, if I've been rambling. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, watch these videos to keep track of what's going on in Inkscape. Hopefully this has been useful. Um, please let me know in the comments how you're getting on. And um, yeah, hopefully I will see you all next week and I can tell you more about the schedule.